And what's up, everybody? We're back with another episode of the Talk of NASCAR podcast. I'm back tonight with Hitmaster. Hi. This is episode number 76 of the Talk of NASCAR podcast. Today, we're going to, uh, we got a lot on the books today. We're going to review Dover um, and uh, everything that happened there. It is a throwback weekend time, almost. A bunch of schemes are getting announced and are out for the public to see. Um, so we're going to go over all the ones that are out that we get to go over today. Um, there's some other news as well. And then, of course, at the end, we'll preview um, Kansas as well. So, And then stay tuned on Hitmaster's channel because we're going to do something cool after this is done. This is take two. Hopefully we don't uh, screw this one up. But anyway... Talk about Dover. Uh, for the Xfinity race, uh, rain threatened it. There was a little bit of a rain delay. Not a big surprise uh, at all. Um, I got to feel bad for Ryan Seeing, dude. He he had that, almost got his first win at Texas. Lost by just a thousandth of a second. Uh, just a hair. And then at Talladega, he's running second late in the race with a good chance to win. And a tire goes down. And he has to pit. And then today, at Do well, last past weekend at Dover, massive fire, engulfed in flames. You gotta feel bad for the guy, dude. He's. What more can you do when you're when you're Ryan Sieg? It's just a terrible, terrible, terrible luck. Um. And anyways, he's, yeah. He's a good driver, but like it's just bad luck, and you know, with everything, like his best chance to get a win, is probably was probably Texas. Yeah. So, whatever yeah. he did at Texas that one time, he better know how to do it when the playoffs happen. Because I tell you something, if you can bring that kind of same car there again, then you know how to fix it. Um, and then this race we had a big one. Not the first time it's happened at Dover. Um, to set up overtime, and then in, in overtime, Austin Hill took a spin from the lead. Um, that and he had a really, really good save um, where he was able to bring it to a stop without hitting the wall, even though he rode the bottom pretty much the entire way through. It reminded me of Jimmy Johnson's spin from uh, 2006. Maybe not as intense as that one was or as long as that one was, but it was definitely still impressive. Um, and then we got a pretty good win as well. Ryan Truex uh, getting the win in double overtime. Uh, very, very impressive. Um, it was his, uh, to get the win there. Uh, so good job for Ryan. Um, good good work there um, to, to do that. And then in the cup race, um, there was a lot of drivers that had some really tough days. Ryan uh, Ryan Priest, Brad Keselowski, Rick, Ricky Spinhouse, um, and a bunch of others just had some very, very, very bad runs. Todd Gilliland was another one. Um, just spins with flat tires. They fell multiple laps down. Mechanical problems just could not get him back. Um, there was a big wreck late in the race as well that um, took out William Byron, Bubba Wallace, Chris, and Christopher Bell, as well as Daniel Hemrick. Um, so that was a pretty big crash because, you, you know, that's three really good drivers and then Daniel Hemrick uh, that are, are in that wreck. And... Uh, so hard hits were taken in that crash, too. So thankfully, everybody's okay, at least as we know for now they're okay. Um, and then Denny Hamlin held off some late charges from Kyle Larson and was able to get the win. Boo. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let's Boo. all hear it. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Bubba Wallace and Denny Hamlin are going to get booed at Michigan. Probably. Calling it. Probably. Um, but that was pretty much it that I had from Dover. I didn't get to watch either race because those would work, but I couldn't watch either race because I was in Chicago. Nice. Dude, nice. I got I got to see the street course. Nice, nice. Well, the outlines of the street course, like you could tell where the pit road was, Ooh. because Pretty there was like there was lines. That were already like marked off on the sidewalk where the box would be, uh -huh. and then on the road of the side there would be the 
but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, as far as Dover goes, I mean that wasn't it wasn't all right. it was all right for Dover standards. Like <laughs> I've definitely seen better Dover races, but I've also seen worse Dover races. Um. So, Jimmy Johnson was racing it. This is true, and he sucked as he has for many years now. So it's okay. One of these days, Legacy Motorsports will win a race. One of these days, <laughs> maybe as long as their drivers don't keep getting injured or putting racist tweets out. That's true. That's true. Um, <clears throat> no Braxton. Speaking of Braxton, he's actually had some good runs the last couple of weeks with Stuart Haas in the ten car. I think he was in the top five this week. Um, he got a top 10 last week at Talladega, which I guess is not that surprising Bird. seeing that Bird. both Rick Ware cars also got a good finish and Ty Dillon too. Oh. So like, but that's Rick Ware. Okay. Rick Ware never has a good race. You, we would be talking about that if it was a regular speedway race, but, but it was super speedway. Anything can happen. Heck, right. freaking Danica Patrick could come out of the fucking stands, get in the 10 car and win the race. It ain't gonna happen, but no, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna Haley happen. Deacon, Haley Deacon could make a cup of debut at, at Daytona and win it. Is it gonna happen? No. But it, I don't it's not think about it. Like, not gonna happen. But yeah, nothing really else truly great to say about Dover. So let's uh, put it in the books. Yes. Um, we'll get to the throwback schemes in a little bit. I've got a bunch of them to talk about. I got some other news first. Uh, third gen, the third generation of Wood Brothers are now going to be taking a co-ownership role of the team. That's cool. Staying in the family. Um, uh, really, really nice. Um, there's also a Dover penalty, just one. The 88 team, Xfinity team for Carson Quapple was, uh, penalized for a loose lug nut. The crew chief was fined $5,000. Not so basically eight. junior motorsports. Right. Yeah. Um, and then the only other piece of news besides the throwback schemes was Kyle Busch Motorsports a while ago filed a lawsuit against Rev Racing. That lawsuit got dropped. So it doesn't it had it wasn't said why the lawsuit was dropped, but probably because they settled it out of court, which is a likely explanation. They got some big money. Uh, so there you go. So yeah. it's really all the news that I had. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you guys saw it first on the channel, but I got a new die cast recently. It was for ooh, my birthday. Pod. My birthday is still a few days away, but I got it early. <laughs> we get to show it here on the podcast now, and we'll talk about it more. It's this one. Ooh. You can't tell what it is, which is funny. But there you go. That's what it is. Mountain Dew Dang. kickstart the night. So let's open it up. I had like a five minute struggle in the diecast review undoing the screws by hand. Don't have to do that here. So. I do also have something as well. Um, that's NASCAR related. But um, while you do that, I will go quickly grab that because it's in my keychain and my keychain is not here. So... <laughs> Ah, shiny, cool-looking car. Good for night racing, as I said in the review, because it says kickstart your night. So, and it's shiny, it's sleek, cool, cool-looking car, and I, I got to admit, I love it. Um, I do still find it funny that the wind, that the serial numbers on the da in, on the in, on the back dash there. That's pretty cool. Do you have anything cool in, like, the hood or anything? I don't know. Well, cool-looking car regardless. I like it. So, just wanted to show that off before I take it up to my storage area, a.k.a. my room. Hmm. Also got the sleeve without the car in the sleeve. So, it's pretty much a napkin at this point. Yeah, that's how it usually goes. Yeah, what are you going to do? Anyway, that was my diecast. 
You already saw it on the channel. Go check that review out. I talked more about it in depth there. But. Um, mine is not a diecast, sadly. Um, but it is something that I got from uh, Fago, and we were just talking about it just a second ago. I got a keychain that says the NASCAR Chicago Street Course Weekend keychain. Of course, this was from two years ago. Or no. Nice. One year ago. Sorry, my bad. I forgot Chicago Street of Course was last year. Um, but uh, I got it actually at the Navy Pier. Hmm. I don't know why they would have it there instead of just having it at a normal Chicago place. But I mean, that's a rare occurrence you see something like that. This oh. is true. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be there. Yeah. But, uh, it was nice. Now I can have that. So, with my other amazing keychains that I have. Awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah. Okay, um, I've got the thingamahoober paint schemes pulled up here. Um, we already talked about the Chase Elliott one, um, but there's been a few others. Um, so we're gonna, and I got pictures here on the website. This is Josh Berry's. Josh Berry's is actually really cool. I liked this. I was just looking at that while I was eating today. Throwing back to I... the 1998 Rodney Childers late model throwback paint scheme for Harrison's, um, Speedway. Pretty cool. And then this is Kyle Larson's, throwing it back to Terry Labonte. Well, that was, he said that was his favorite car. Terry Labonte's favorite car was that scheme. Not surprised. It's a good looking car. It is. This one's another cool one. This is Brad Keselowski's. Brad Keselowski. Is that his, RFKR. Oh, yeah. RFK Racing. <laughs> I didn't know what RFKR meant. Yeah, it's uh, the like, TDM oh, Toyota Supra GT um, car. I throw it back to. Um, now, this one might have to be like the coolest actual, like, true throwback. This is Corey LaJoy's. And I love it. Oh, yeah. That's a throwback to his. Um, 2012, K, what was then the K&N series, um, win at, uh, Bowman Gray. But then why race it at the Darmington throwback when you could do it at possibly Bowman Gray? You might run it again Actually, at Bowman Gray. Yeah, he might run it again. Good. I mean, um, might as well, but do it as the 0-7, like, as it, what it says in the picture. We already saw Chase Elliott's, um, and then this is Alex Bowman's. He's throwing it back to Jimmy Johnson. I may hate Jimmy Johnson with a passion, but that fucking scheme that looks good. is the best. I love this paint scheme. It's really good. Um, as, as, a fan, as a person that hated Johnson, seeing that car around the track made me a little bit of a Jimmy Johnson fan. And then this is Daniel Suarez. As well, I think this is the last cup one, but that's a cool looking one too. IndyCar throwback. Now uh, I heard William Byron is supposed to have his throwback this week sometime. Um, they're saying it's probably the Jeff Gordon DuPont Black Flame. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, but I don't know. Uh, there are some Xfinity ones as well that have been announced. This is Sammy Smith's. There we go. Ooh. Um, this is Ryan Ellis. Ellis. Kid named, uh, can't think of the movie. Days of Thunder. Days of Dang, Thunder I throwback. Know. There we go. Still haven't, me, I couldn't think of it either. Still haven't watched that movie. I'll get around what? to it. What? Yeah. <laughs> I have not well, watched tell it. Tell me at least, tell me at least you've watched frickin'. Uh, Talladega Nights. Oh, I watched that movie many times. Okay, okay. okay. But not Days of Thunder. I, I've been meaning to get around to yeah. watching it. I just haven't yet. To be honest, I've never watched Days of Thunder either, so I'm kind of a boomer. 
Um, this is Brennan Poole's, the Kyle Petty throwback. I love this one. Beautiful car. That's all the Xfinity ones. Then here are the truck ones that have been announced. I think. Not all of them are here. Okay. Um, actually, maybe they are. This is Corey Himes. It's a damn Denny Hamlin throwback. Like, what the fuck? Oh, no, it's not. It's a Kale Yarbrough throwback. It looks like a Denny Hamlin throwback, though. This is Taylor Gray's throwback to Mark Green. Pretty cool one there. This. Uh, this is Tyler Ankrum. Throwback to another Days of Thunder throwback. Pretty cool mm -hmm. looking one. And then Daniel Dye. Doing another, this is another Kyle Petty throwback right here. I like that. Yeah, that is. I like that one. And then finally, Thad Moffat doing a Richard Petty throwback. And then there was one more, I think, I had in my notes. Yeah, where's the... There's not, they're not all, all on here. There's one from um, Christian Eckes as well. It's not on here. Uh, oh, there's more? No, there's a bunch more. There's a bunch more. I found another one. Okay, here's Austin Dillon's. Get this rid of this ad. No, no, don't click the cart. No, go back. All right, it's hard to see, but there's Austin Dillon's. Pretty I mean, cool. I don't hate that. Uh, we already saw Josh Berry's. Uh, Let's see if freaking Teresa destroys it. Here's Chase Briscoe's. Chase Briscoe's actually isn't that bad. I like this one. The cool looking one. Why must you make a video? Why must you make a video? There's okay. There's too many. There's too many. There's too many. I can't find it. Why why are there inconsistencies? What is this? Technical difficulties here, people. Please please, we're not trying to get copyrighted. Please, please, I'm begging you. Oh, he's doing a throwback to himself. Wild. So is he getting just the pure black car, then? That says auto insurance? I don't know. This is Todd Gillen. I mean, I don't hate that. Um, here's Brandon Jones's. What the fuck? The throwback to... Dale Jr. Okay. Weird. Um, oh, here's here's the one I was looking for. This is Christian Eckes's Brownie King. That's uh oh. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay. That's all of them. That's all I'm going to show at least. We will in the next podcast if William Byron talks about his uh. Throwback, then we will talk about that next podcast, but...
Let's get into Kansas. Yeah, that's really all I had for news. I mean, I could check Facebook for a quarter while. Um. But. Doinkus. Doinkus. So, I want to ask you this. Um, yeah. Koi Guerrero just updated their uh, cover photo. Okay. Yeah. Unleashed 2024 will be in two days. May 3rd, 2024 is when Unleashed 2024, when we start off this season, is when everything will start. Actually, that's today. Actually, the podcast came out on the, on the 3rd. It's today. Fine, it's today. It's tonight, actually. Tonight, yeah. Woohoo. Um, also, people that want to go into, like, Corgan Oil or any of that, it says right here, Do you hate waiting in line? First off, know your English. Do you hate waiting in lines? I like to walk walk in like you own the place. If you answered yes to both of these questions, do we have an awesome solution for you? Uh, cue the emoji that goes. Um, you can now purchase tickets online. Just click the link, three of these downs, and select the event to purchase online. Uh, I actually use it a lot. You could already do this. Why are they calling it a new thing? I don't know. You tell me. We need to buy this track so that we can make it serviceable. <laughs> I like how you I like how you immediately go. We need to buy this track. Oh, we need to put in all of on, our that's, money. That's to a buy part this of my track. Pringle Sun and Company takeover plans. Okay. We're already gonna own. Um, we're already gonna own Kellogg's. We're already going to own Applebee's. We're already going to own Buffalo Wild Wings. We're already going to own Little Caesars. Next possible solution, own a racetrack. Duh. So there's a new kind of car that's going to be evolved um, in uh, Corgan Oil. They're called mini wedges. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't know what the f- fuck is but cheers to some potato wedges running around the racetrack oh I know what these are I will send you a picture of one of these but like they're super tiny and they're for like children hold on I will send it to you Actually, I'll show you Sending guys all of it. To me. Actually. Sending. Here. To me. What the fuck? Those are what's going to be at the track. Those things, how, okay. If those things flip, the driver dies. Also, also just realizing. It's for sale. They are out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> they are out of stock. <laughs> the one car is out of stock. How do you? <laughs> <laughs> We only had one of them in stock, and it's gone. Just, just, just the number one car. The number one car is out of stock. That's it. There's the number two car. There's the number three car. They're not. They're out of stock too. But they are three thousand eight hundred and thirty thirty bucks. Holy crap! They're usually for dirt. But like, why see, are they running them on asphalt? see like kids driving it what the fuck dude that reminds me of mario kart those look something you find in mario kart 
do 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 We got eight year olds driving on the racetrack. Do the coconut mall music. I can't do it. I can't recite it right now. My brain's too mushed, mumbled, jumbled. Coconut Mall, but it's in real life at Corrigan Oil Speedway. If you guys want to go see it, it's May 3rd or today or whatever you guys see this. I don't know when tonight. I don't know. Fuck it. Probably already missed it. Tyler died for a second. My shirt's <laughs> wet. Anyway, <laughs> we'll talk about Kansas so we can get to our other thing. Um, as I dabble up my shirt with my hand. Innovation. Then out of then. Who's racing this weekend? Um, I think it's Trucks, Cup, and Xfinity. If I'm not mistaken. You, you I think, are right. Yep, Xfinity's off. It is Trucks and Cup this weekend. Oh, I guess it is Trucks and Cups. So, cool I stuff. Truck. I said Trucks and Cups. What the fuck? All right, who cops racing around the track? <laughs> hey, we already have children racing around the track. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, who do we think is going to win the truck race? Well, now that they have a new logo at Kansas. Um, and just letting you know, Kansas, we started it. Um, <clears throat> so you could thank an NIS for it. But anyways, I'm going to go with... From Kansas City, Kansas, for their own racing company, Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing. I'm going with Jennifer Joe Cobb. You know, you, you know, always make the you always make the boldest predictions because you never know in this kind of year. This is true. This is true. Brian Sieg almost won Texas. Yeah, but he's actually like good, decent. I mean, not, but not he's good. not. Not, he's good. not with a good team. This is true. Well, is Jennifer Joe Cobb a good team either? Like, he runs her own team. Yeah, but is it good? No. I mean, to be honest, I can remember the time. This isn't real life, but I can remember the time I was playing a game and, I, and Jennifer Joe Cobb was winning, and then all of a sudden, all I had to do was finish first to win the championship, <sighs> and she blew her engine. <laughs> And Whoa. stopped, her. and I passed her, and she slowed down the entire field. And of course, it was the final lap. There was no caution, so I won the race because of Jennifer Joe Cobb. So Jennifer Joe Cobb, you're gonna win. I'm picking, I'm picking Daniel Dye this weekend. Daniel Dye, okay. I don't know why. I just am. So. Anyway. Seems like seems like his only time he's actually done good was at that one track that he won at. True. Pretty Very much. true. Very true. True and real. Anyway, uh, do we have oh, wait, chips? No, that's not. That's not who I think I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Raja Karuth. But yes, we do. We have the chips. Okay. Let me just close out. So last week was Diddy Hamlin. I'm looking at the fucking results from last week, and it shows Diddy Hamlin's fucking meme face. Fucking smile. Okay, anyways. I don't know who we picked last week. I know you picked Chase Elliott. Um, I got fat. I don't yeah, I'm just going to go with a win with you. Because whoever Ooh, I pick. Oh, yeah, baby. What are we for? So that means you get the first pick. And your pick is what do you know? AB. Nice. I'll Alex take that. Norman, I'll take forever. I'll take that. She will take that. He finished eighth last week. And the last pick of the day. Well, 
let you win this week again. Well, not necessarily. Ty Gibbs doesn't do shit unless he fucking gets a team that's good. It's a pretty even matchup this week, I think. Oh, yeah. If they were to put Denny Hamlin's freaking setups into Ty Gibbs, then maybe Ty Gibbs would actually win a cup race. Because it yeah, seems it... like the only one that's winning in Joe Gibbs is Denny Hamlin. Yeah, well, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of cookies, um, I don't know where I was going with that statement. But that's going to do it, though, for this episode of the Talking NASCAR podcast. Um, if you want to be a guest on the Talking NASCAR podcast, all you got to do is join the Pringles Sunday Company Discord. Link is in the description down below. Request the Talking NASCAR role, and me and Hitmaster will work out a time to get you on, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun doing so. But that's going to do it, though, for this episode, so stay tuned for much more amazing content from both me and Hitmaster, including our fun thing that we are going to be doing shortly. And until next time, see you guys later. Goodbye.